Here we are to another monthly favorites. We are stepping into August, so today I will be sharing with you my July favorites. It's starting first that I bought into the Barbies. Hi, Barbie! <laughs> yes, um, if you watch my a whole video that I did like what or a vlog no it was a vlog yeah that I actually uploaded it like a little bit over a week ago I mentioned it that I wasn't sure if I was going to go to watch the Barbie movie I ended up going I didn't took my youngest one I just took my two teen kids and they had fun at least well my son had a lot of fun we were laughing a lot I, I will tell you in a minute but in preparation of it I went ahead um painted my nails a little bit different usually I use a lot of nudes whites I just you know very predictable right here but I said you know what I love Barbie so much so I had to paint my nails and I was actually at Target and I saw this LA girl gel nail polish it's not a gel nail polish that you need to treat it on a lamp it just gives you the finish of a gel very nice and glossy so i bought it it's in the shade eden and i think it was just the perfect barbie girl kind of nail polish <laughs> i was just like getting so ready for it and with that being said although i use this bag quite a bit not like every single day but i use it quite a bit it is my chanel this was from the 23 P collection I think it was the spring collection I don't even remember anymore and I'm aware that collection has passed but you can find this bag or a light bag that actually resembles so much the classic flap but is not really a classic flap and it actually to me I regret not to get also the black one because I feel there is just so much room inside this bag it's just so perfect but i will try to find the same one or a like one on the resale market link it below for you because these are way less expensive than getting a classic flap and i'm pretty sure i think with red locks i do have a discount code i use a samorga organizer inside which is actually a perfect i mean it's not exactly the same shape but it actually matches pretty good with this bag by the way i'm filming in a 4k camera so make sure you have your resolution right and let me know how you like the the actual resolution how you see that image right here but this is a perfect bag because it is in first place adjustable so i can use it cross body i can use it shoulder and that makes it super practical so i had it to wear pink and it was just so funny because when we were at the movie i, I didn't pay much attention i mean i pay attention to certain things i knew that there were pieces from chanel so i was looking at you know the tweets and then the, the little necklaces but then at a point in time michael robbie she had on her hand a little chanel heart bag and then my son looked at me and started laughing he's like there you go chanel and then by the end of the movie funny fact I didn't know about these and I don't want to spoil the movie but you will see at the end of the movie you will see the Birkenstocks and I these are mine <laughs> these are mine and I happen to have them in pink because yeah I love light pink not so much like really bright pink I like very neutral colors but I also love light pink colors so it was just kind of like a blast between my son and I my daughter who you know Mia she was like a little bit like oh, I'm a little bit bored about this movie and I will say the movie, if you want to feedback and you have been thinking on watching it, I think um, it's a good movie. It's not to me like the best, best, but I like the message. I'm not conflicted about the message. Um, if I will take my youngest to watch it, I think even if I take my youngest, because she's so little, she will not understand, you know, like so much of certain meanings of the movie itself but I don't think she needs to watch it either. But anyhow, for if you are a Barbie fan and you have loved Barbie and you are, you know, like a grown up, I will say, you know, go and watch it. And if you have teen kids that wants to watch the movie with you, I think they will have a blast. And you know how much I love my jewelry. So I have to tell you that I have been going back to just something simple for, in terms of necklace and this beauty solo diamond by Idol. It is fantastic. It just makes everything look so classy, so perfect, not too much fuss and it's perfect. I mean, for all year round, but sometimes during summertime, you know, like the sweat, the heat and all of that, you want something very, you know, something that is not like mm, too much on you. 
this is it. And the way that it shines, it is incredible. And this video, by the way, is not a sponsor by nobody, but I do have discount codes with a lot of brands like Idol and many other brands. So I will be leaving the links of all the products that I'm talking about today as per usual, along with any discount code that I may have. Also, I want to mention that YouTube has a new feature where you can see some of the products as many as we can either feed or you know that they are part of this YouTube program that we can add the the products that we're talking about right here. So that being said, <laughs> the way that it cascades, it makes sometimes hard to open the description box for some people, depending on which device you're viewing the video. So what I have been doing these past few videos and what I will be doing on this video too, is I will just copy and paste my description box on a pinned comment. So if you're leaving a comment, you will see the pink comment of mine and there you have again the details of the products the links and all the discounts available okay friends and in terms of jewelry also these beauties by monica binader they are not a full statement earring but i really like how they look right here they are super cute and they are part of the nora collection i love that they look a little bit bigger but they are not like a wow super statement piece that just you know, take it all over. I feel that it balanced really well with the necklace, with the rest of my jewelry, all these pieces that you know I absolutely love. And I'm pretty sure I have a 20% off discount code with Monica Binader, I think 15% off with Idol or 10%. Don't quote me on that. Again, everything will be linked on the description box or on the comment section. Now, let's talk about fragrances. Oh my goodness. Well, I was in Seattle we were just like actually browsing, not really like shopping, shopping. I did some shopping and one of them was by Louis Vuitton and in specific Shield, this gorgeous fragrance that is just so vibrant. It has some fruity notes that are just so beautiful. Mm, it smells amazing. Apricot, minty, lemony. I mean, it's just a burst of joy, so much joy and I couldn't resist it. I had to cut it. I, Well, I tested it and then my husband is like, wow, that smells so nice. And he just turned to the associate and is like, ah, we wanna get it. <laughs> so there you have it. And then another fragrance, well, actually I've been layering two fragrances, Eden Rock and the Riviera. So Eden Rock is more into that salty mineral kind of scent. Um, not really suntan lotion, although it does have coconut in it, but if you like something along the line, say, of Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, it's not the same, absolutely not, and you know that is my signature scent for summertime. If you have been watching me, that is what I love to wear during summertime, but it's that, you know, effervescent kind of scent. Mm, very fresh, super beautiful elegant chic style and whatnot and i love to layer it yeah i still have a little sample of the dior riviera now dior riviera is more woody it does have a little bit of fix but it's the trees of the fix so it's not the fruity side of it and that that composition right there of that freshness and cleanliness and then the sea salt and the mineral aspect of Eden Rock, these layer it together. I know it is expensive layering together, but they are a great combination. I mean, wearing it alone, either one of them or layering them, so good. That I'm obsessed in love with this cleansing oil by Florasis. Wow, wow. You know how much I love my Tatcha one? This rivals the Tatcha. And this round wasn't the first time that I tried the cleansing oil by Florasis. No, it's not the case. What happened it was that I opened the bottle, I was using it like a couple times, like perhaps two, three times at the most, and then it disappeared <laughs> from my bathroom and it was my oldest daughter who grabbed it and then I just didn't sort it again. And now I have been using it more consistently because this is my bottle. <laughs> This is completely my bottle and it just makes my skin feel not only refreshed and clean, but it's not a stripping. It doesn't leave any oily residue. There's, it's just like kind of like water, but it breaks down absolutely everything. I mean, I'm talking about SPF, mascara, everything, like absolutely everything. And it leaves your skin 
feeling so supple prepare for the rest of your skincare basically and it's because it does have floral ingredients botanical ingredients that it creates that kind of like essence kind of effect on your skin and it, it just leaves my skin feeling like baby's bottoms <laughs> i never thought i was gonna say something like that but this this is really key and i love how it emulsifies too and you just need one pump this is just so so good highly recommended i used to love cleansing balms in the past but as i'm aging i'm enjoying a lot more cleansing oils and this one my florasis is perfection now another skincare product that i have integrated on my skincare routine i use vitamin c so i use the one from skin Suicals, and then i just opened like about a week and a half ago the glow maker by may love great one i mean that one i have used it before and it really gives it an impressive glow but i received the 24k gold serum intense by shantekai this has vitamin c and it just plumps my skin and give me i don't know like a radiance kind of like the glow maker but a little bit more hydrating it's just oh fantastic and it does have this milky consistency comes with this dropper that is just so so good and i really love the packaging too because you know how it is vitamin c it has to be on an opaque container so that it stays stable and wow what a change i'm seeing changes on my skin i mean i'm using a lot of different things and i'm like trying different things here and there i feel like i don't know if you would like to see my current skincare routine like am pm i will be happy to share with you but i feel like my skin is looking a lot and a lot better than before and i'm sure it has to do with the skincare that i have been using lately now let's talk about makeup in terms of primer this is a repeat of fender the chantecai sheer glow face tint now this doesn't give you a rosy glow but it actually it's kind of that unicorn <laughs> kind of primer hydrator that leave your skin looking perfected and if you like to go with skin tints or you just want to use it alone this is just perfection oh and by the way Shantekai is having right now well at the time that i'm uploading this video they are still be sale where you get 25 percent off and this time around they are even including that philanthropy products which is very very rare and there is also a gift with purchase which is a gorgeous tote with a minimum purchase um again those details i will leave them in the description box below but this is amazing solo or as a primer and talking about that pinky effect which is not really pink it's not going to give you a mass of pink but this like healthy youthful glow um kind of this aura you know lead kind of effect i have to tell you that chanel numero one skin enhancer oh my goodness this is fantastic it is phenomenal it's so blurring i really like to mix it with actual foundations or with heavier type of skin tints so i have been using um at the beginning of july actually a lot my la mer the radiant skin tint now this one has spf so it's thicker in consistency as well as the hermes plein air also spf 30. so now because these are thicker in consistency i also like mix them in with this enhancer by chanel it just makes them even more perfect now this one is more glowy than this one by hermes but this one doesn't add any like shimmer or glitter and i don't know one of my subscribers or one of you mentioned it on a comment that this had glitter but there's no glitter on this one i don't know like i bought it here in the united states i don't know if there's another formulation somewhere that has glitter but these ones they do not have glitter now kind of like around mid july oh my goodness hourglass drop their veil hydrating skin tint and this is the foundation that i'm using today what a fabulous fabulous should i say foundation skin tint now it is hydrating is um kind of like between sheer with a light coverage buildable i would really not suggest it to build it not because um it will peel or it will look bad or cakey is nothing of that it's just because it is so beautiful the way that it's meant to be that there's really no reason why to build it up it's 
It feels like nothing on your skin. It perfects your skin and it's long wearing. I'm just so impressed. The only thing it doesn't have SPF, which some of you may be okay with it. Some of you are like, you like to simplify things. But I mean, to me, regardless, you should always go first with your SPF. Wait 20 minutes, at least 20 minutes while you're drinking your coffee or whatnot. I don't know, doing whatever else you want to for it to set on your skin and then go with your foundation, skin tint, whatever it is, and if such foundation, skin tint, they do have SPF, then that's a bonus, but you shouldn't be replacing it. I mean, that is my humble opinion and my advice according to what I have heard from my dermatologists and other dermatologists. Now, you do you. I'm not a doctor, <laughs> you know, and I'm not a dermatologist either, but that is my suggestion. So this is just perfection. And I know also there are certain people that they do have sensitivity to certain SPF and they have their key SPF. So therefore they don't want another product that has SPF on it because then they can experience a breakout that, you know, it happens because certain ingredients, combination, etc. But anyhow, friends, this is phenomenal, phenomenal. Now, when I did my review, I had already used it it was my second time when I was filming that video and I was using the shade seven funny story when I was you know the other days I was just grab you know grabbing whatever was on my little table I didn't notice that I grabbed the shade eight and it is the shade that I'm using right now and I really like how it looks on my skin which in that regards if you go to Hourglass website or even at Sephora you will see there is a chart if you use the Hourglass the Veil Foundation shade 7.5 it does suggest to use the shade 8 on the skin team so they are right and, and it has to do a lot because they are so stretchy because of that finish of this skin team that you know you can go either way so for for me for example I can go with seven definitely and perhaps seven it will be ideal for me fall towards winter time and then right now like even a spring and mostly summertime the shade eight works just phenomenal on me now, in terms of bronzer I know this is crazy but I have been loving so much this skin enhancer by Chanel that I have been using it as bronzer now this is the deepest shade intense amber it's not meant to be a bronzer it's not meant for that it's meant to be for deeper complexions but it's just so blurring so perfecting so naturally beautiful I mean it's just it's just perfect it's air brush that I personally just love the shade too as a bronzer it is what I'm using today it is incredible and it's super easy to blend I don't know what magic they did with this product but it's spectacular you know my friends how much I love a golden goddess kind of finished bronzer and this gives it to me is by Shantekai the shade Sirena is not exactly the same as the Sirena that comes in the red component it's more alike to the Sirena that came from the Positano collection and it has this gelé kind of formulation that is forgiven on texture and it blends again airbrush so incredibly beautiful and you know what let me touch on brushes so I received the new Sonia G fundamental set of brushes and there was the class Classic cheek and this is a brush that I love so much I love how soft it is how beautiful it disperses the blush that this is a mask I mean the fundamental brush set from Sonia G it is a mask I think one of the best brands if you are looking into natural hair bristles that have an incredible design for function they are the ones from Sonia G and the Craftman Sheet is unparalleled. Another one too by Sonia G that I still love. This I just washed but is my Sonia G Sheer Buffer Brush. This is perfection for applying foundation, bronzer, any liquid product. It's just like a feather, like touching your face with the softest feather on your skin. It doesn't leave any streak mark and it's just phenomenal. And then from Chanel, I know this is, I mean, who knows, perhaps it has restock again because I have seen a couple restocks of the Chanel brushes, but I'm so happy I got the set mostly for this 110 brush. 
it is a perfect brush for everything from blush to mostly bronzer this is such a good good brush and very soft i'm just so impressed of the softness of this brush i mean i have other chanel brushes but this one is a good one and it's synthetic bristles too so if you are not too much on going into the natural hair bristle route then i would highly suggest you to take a peek to these chanel brushes including this one right here which is that 109 it is kind of like a slanted brush this is for perfect application of blush and again very very soft nothing harsh and it doesn't feel like you know certain brushes sometimes they feel very much synthetic this one doesn't and it picks up the right amount of product in terms of lashes i have been going strong with the chanel water fresh blushes the shades in particular intense coral and light pink intense coral it will give you just such a beautiful amazing summer look vibe and light pink it does have a little bit of a rosewood kind of tone it's very very unique and very pretty and they are super easy to blend and i love 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 to use my sheer buffer brush from sonia g to use these babies fantastic and you know what it they don't leave a true stain on the cheeks but they actually are long wearing and they just have that property of not looking at too makeup -y. they look a lot more natural i'm talking about natural blushes the charlotte tilbury beach stick blushes which they have been reformulated are fantastic too now this one right here is still broken i need to get a replacement it's for ventera if you want again that golden hour kind of look like i had been on the sun if you're looking for the latte makeup look which is on trend right now that will give it to you now if you want something a little bit more rosy tone i will say go with las salinas it's super pretty very flattering shade and they don't have any shimmer as they used to before so you will see a I mean moon beach it does have a little bit which is this other shade is different color too than the moon beach from before but um it does have kind of like a satiny finish it doesn't have any glitter though but the blush that i'm using today it is by Givenchy is a Prince Libre blush you know my friends how much i love these blushes but they finally came to the united states so i ended up picking up the other four shades that I didn't have on my collection, not that I need them, but I decided to do a review with swatches on my cheeks so you could see all the different shades now that they are available here in the United States. And the shade Muslim Lilas conquered my heart because again, <laughs> the Barbie pink sensation and this is just a perfect pink for my skin tone. You know, there's different pinks, different undertones, and actually on Givenchy, there are different pinks that you can choose from, but this one right here, it's just so perfect. It just goes well with so many makeup looks that I do with cool tones, or if I'm doing something with a purpley tone, this one looks just perfect, and it does have that blurring kind of effect without being mad that is actually very flattering. This Gucci Illuminator has been my highlighter of choice. I'm using it right now on my cheeks. You can use it actually all alone. It's super hydrating. I don't know why this doesn't have more hype because it's just so flattering. It's nothing like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood, um, you know, the, the one that people put it on all day your face. That one is really nice, but I feel this one is hydrating, it's flattering, and it creates a beautiful glow from within effect, glassy skin-like effect, which is just phenomenal so you can use it again all alone or as a subtle kind of luminizer so not really a true highlighter but really you know creating that glassy skin kind of look and even when i had been wanting something more subdued than a highlighter or i just want a little bit of extra hydration glow but something very subtle and perhaps not much makeup i go between my skin enhancer by chanel and just on the highest points of my cheeks i apply the westman at the liquid super loaded highlighter in Peau de Peche. This is the one that to me works the best for my skin tone. I also like the Peau de Rose but that one I like to mix it with like a foundation. This one alone it just looks so perfecting and I have to give it to Claire de Peau. They have come out with so many different, I think they are 12 total eyeshadow quads in this brand new formulation to them that is 
I would say it is innovative, although perhaps not groundbreaking. If you like, for example, Pat McGrath kind of eyeshadows, you want something that are extremely mesmerizing, or you like the Tom Ford wet and dry formulation or the Tom Ford um, creme formula, this is not like that. This is basically for those who have perhaps a ton of texture on their eyelids or aging eyelids that you want to have that very subtle glow, but disregarding entirely any glitter, any shimmer, and yet achieving this look. This is what it will give you. And this specific quad is the one that I love the most. This is purple, purple ocean tweet light, something along those lines. The formula is very elegant because again, it's kind of like a veil, a veil of color. And to me, it resembles a lot if you have on your collection the Gucci blushes. You see that sheen that the Gucci blushes have without any shimmer? and that you know kind of like soft effect that it gives to the skin the same thing you will find with these eyeshadows from clay they both so if you're looking for that type of finish for that type of formula and you want that glow effect on your eyelids but without having a metallic eyeshadow then these are for you are very flattering and they are for to me for a specific kind of client because again they are not nothing like Pat McGrath, you know astral shades nothing of that and i know this is specific color quad was sold out at Clay de Paul's website. If it's still available, again, I will be leaving the link, but I'm pretty sure it should be available at Nordstrom. So if you're still shopping the Nordstrom anniversary sale, which is still going on, they have so many things and I have received so many of my items Pretty much all of them, they are for fall and winter. That's why you don't see them pretty much included here on my favorites because I'm, I'm not wearing anything fall or winter right now with this heat. But definitely I am still shopping the Nordstrom anniversary sale because it is so good and I have found so many good stuff. Now, if you tell me which is a groundbreaking formula, are the wise <laughs> eyeshadows to me. This has been groundbreaking on the luxury world. To me, this are just phenomenal eyeshadows and i'm so happy that they are now available in the united states still going strong with both store dolls and babylon roses which is this one right here babylon roses is actually the one that i use the most because i think that it's just so flattering during summertime for my skin tone and store dolls is gorgeous too but it's more for me a little bit like a nighttime kind of look very seductive very cool tone flattering too then another eyeshadow palette that i have been using kind of like for every day is this one by garlam and it's actually from their fall collection this is andres brown and basically the shades that i use are these three shades right here the most i kind of skip the copper one not because it's not beautiful it's actually very beautiful but i think it leans more full when i use the copper shade but i just basically mix in these and these and just put it all over my eyelid i kind of line it a little bit with a darker shade and then in the middle i kind of put this shade as a spotlight it's more metallic and just like all the other guerlain eyeshadow quads the formula too it is phenomenal very forgiven but they have a lot of payoffs so the mattes are true mattes the satins are true satins and the metallics wow they give you that metallic finish that looks just stunning but without being a bomb of glitter i mean there's no glitter on them now, in terms of that cool tone kind of palette that has stolen my heart too is this one by dior is ball mask it is pretty much very close to what it was Dior Cashmere, the previous formulation with a little bit of pink in it, and it's very flattering. Oh my goodness, this is kind of like a condensed version of, say, if you like the Glam palette from Natasha Denona and you want it in Dior formulation, a little bit more subtle and very easy going and, you know, more compact to Ball Mask, it's really, really good. Um, I really like the new soft cashmere, but I think I like this one even better. <laughs> you know that lipsticks are my thing. I love lipsticks, and these ones by Clay de Paul are the cream formula. Oh my gosh, they are so beautiful, full opacity, full pigment, so comfortable, so gorgeous. The one that I'm wearing today is um, Kalanch Orchid, and this 
this is not the first time that it appears on a favorites of mine. I'm sure at a certain point in time, I'm gonna need to buy a new one because these I use quite a bit. It is the perfect, perfect nude shade. And then I also have been going strong with Calandra and Heliconia, which are a little bit when I just don't use pretty much nothing on my eyelids, just my bronzer, and then I want a pop of color. These shades right here have been my go-to, and they have that kind of like pinky kind of vibe too. I think you see what I'm going to with these shades here but when i want just a simple lip balm the hourglass phantom lip balms are fantastic they are nourishing hydrating they plump your lips without hurting they leave your lips look super juicy and their new shades are gorgeous tones of nudes so you have your peachy nude your pinky nude and also kind of your light pillow talk kind of shade perhaps rice is my go-to the one that i use the very most i would highly suggest do not leave them on your back under the sun inside the car for a long time because they are just so buttery in a good sense not oily but you know like that juicy hydrating kind of balm that they will just like melt off completely but these are kind of like a summer must have as long as you don't leave them under the sun for a bullet lipstick the one from Guerlain this is in the shade number eight again another perfect nude pinky nude kind of tone that is incredible and I think the Guerlain lipsticks are underrated because they are long lasting even the satin formulation yes you have to reapply them but they don't fade in a gross way they actually leave not a stain but they just fade away beautifully and this shade in particular number eight i mean if you have been looking for it go ahead pick it up and i love these new casings for the fall collection in the leather and who will not like to take you know a glam lipstick open it up look to the mirror and apply your lipstick in such a classy way now we need a moment to talk about this valentino liquid rosso blush lipstick a liquid lipstick that is a matte formula wow i'm so impressed with the formulation because Although they do not advertise it as such, it's long lasting, but the beauty of how this blush is the way that they apply and how they are opaque, but they are buildable. So it's not as tricky. I'm just in love because if you wanna achieve that true kind of bloated kind of lips, this will give it to you at the first swipe. And then you can build it if you want to have a full opacity. They feel like you have nothing on your lips nothing and they are hydrating they come in so many different colors i was so like i don't think i'm gonna like this shade but i'm gonna buy it no matter what <laughs> right i love this shade because it does have a magenta undertone and you know my friends how much i love a magenta undertone but all of the shades like between the pinky nudes the nudie nudes this gorgeous orange shade right here is spectacular but with the Barbie craze, I have been going for this. Hi, Barbie. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention about this nail polish remover. It's by Ella Mila. It's a soy polish remover, and it has a lavender scent, but it's so fainted, which I actually really enjoy. It's a very interesting formula because it feels a little bit greasy, per se. It's kind of like extra cuticle oil on your nails when you're removing your nail polish, but you just wash it and it will just, you know, obviously take it away. But I really love how you remove the nail polish without having those harsh chemicals and those you know, like toxic scents that, at least to me, they bother me so much. And it's hard to find a nail polish that obviously is acetone free, but at the same time that they don't smell like so horrible. And this one, wow, if I'm impressed, and I will highly recommend it. And my last favorite is this little pink mirror by Chanel. It is so pretty, and I just, it has been a joy to go out with my pink bag and my pink... <laughs> I know it's so ridiculous perhaps for many of you but to me I'm not too muchy muchy and honestly I didn't even thought that I was gonna you know enjoy so much a pink mirror I'm more into a white or a black one but this shade is just so perfect and it goes perfect with my back I love it and I want to take this opportunity to mention a couple YouTube channels that I have been watching a lot that I love so much Lisa Lisa D1 
I love how enthusiastic she is, how happy, positive mind she is. I love her content. I, she is a hard worker. That woman pretty much is bringing us a video every single day and they are not little videos. They are like 40, 50 minute videos that you can see them in parts or whatever it is. Like quality content that those to edit it takes a long time i don't know if she has an editor or not but i love her content i enjoy her so much i have been loving to watching house of valentina you know my friends my background is architecture i love interior design and house of valentina has been wonderful she's another very vibrant happy spirit here on this platform and i enjoy so so much her content she's a joy to watch and freya killing i think freya She's also wonderful, based in UK. So I love those ladies and I will highly suggest you if you're looking for content that is fun, that they also touch not only beauty, but they are mostly either bloggers, well, House of Valentina is more interior design, but you like just happiness, good vibe, and you know, a little bit of everything, you're gonna love their content okay my friends let's just continue that conversation in the comment section down below share with me what products you have been loving during the month of july if you have watched the barbie movie <laughs> let's continue that conversation on the comment section down below when you are it and if you haven't done so yet i want to invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads it would be incredible if you can come and follow me on my instagram and tiktok if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also share it with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful Oh, wonderful day. Bye. -bye.